All right, pretty quick rule over here. When you have a dependent clause at the beginning of a sentence, you have to put a comma to separate it from the rest of the sentence, right? So because I am tall, comma, I had to duck. Uh, because is obviously one of our dependent clause starter words, right? So because I am tall, that's our dependent clause. And it comes at the beginning before the independent clause. So we have a comma. However, if you put the dependent clause at the end of the sentence, we don't put a comma. So I had to duck because I am tall. Well, then that's fine. There's no comma needed. Um, kind of a weird thing, but this is how it works. So if the independent clause comes first, we have to have a comma. And you can tell, you can differentiate the two clauses. You guys are good at that now, right? You just look for the subjects and the verbs and you can separate them out. Look for the dependent clause words, all that stuff. Uh, if the dependent clause comes first, it has to have a comma. If it comes after, it does not. So that's it. Let's use that to attack the next questions.